Hello, my name is Christian, and today I'll be narrating you guys on how to create the game Space Bats on Scratch. To start us off, we'll be deleting our cat, since he doesn't do us anything. We'll be going to the sprites, collecting the ball, the bat, the rocket ship, and creating our own. By hovering over the choose a sprite option and going into paint, we're going to name this sprite a game oh, underscore over. That we get the text, and then you just put down game over. Right. And now we have to choose our backdrop, and for our backdrop, you just want to search up stars. And now, before we do anything, uh, we have to change all of our sprites and their sizes to, to 50. Because if they were at 100, as you can see, they'd be way too big. Okay. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'd recommend putting the rocket at costume 5. But... That's it, but for me, that's just personal preference. Same with the bat. I just like to put it at costume B. Now, um, to start us off, since we already have all of our sprites in the background, let's go over the code for the rocket ship. Now, we want to get two of the one key is pressed. And we want to go to motion and move 10 steps. Right for the left one, put left arrow, right one, right arrow. Oops. Can't click that. For right arrow, put in 15 steps. Left arrow, negative 15 steps. Right. Then you go into variables. And let's make our variable. And our variable will be called ship x dash position. And so we just have to put these variables under there. And you go back into motion, go to x position, put it right there, and x position again over here. So these two uh, pieces of code is to. Um, move your spaceship from left to right like this right and so uh, once we're done with that you get the one green flag is clicked shut off with that and go back into variables you have to make two more very two and um, three more variables sorry and our first one will be called elf score and this one comes in later ship y best position All right. so to set us off we'll put down two of these set variable oh. set the first one to health set the second one to score go into looks set size to 100% down to 50% right and then after that you want to go back down into your variables go back to set health to and this time you want to switch it to X and Y in that order and put Y at negative 150 so now And um, before we go into the next one, we have to get the go to X um, block in our motion. And uh, we're not going to be replacing these with other numbers, we'll just be replacing them with our own variables. Ship X, ship Y. <coughs> so. Now that we're done with this uh, second or technically third part, um, we have to move on to the last and fourth part. 
but this uh, part is mainly how um, the game starts you know because it sets the health to oops I forgot about this five set score to zero sets the position of this rocket ship no. and so now to our last part you want to do the when I receive lock and make a new message call this one uh, ship collision underscore Spell that right? Yeah, spell that right. right. After that, you go into your variables and you do change health by one. So it's already there set up. And you want to go back into controls, do if or then, and go into your operators, and you go into the equal sign one. And then you put in, go back into your variables and put in health in here. And change this 50 to 0. Got not 0. After that, you go into your events and broadcast. Game. Over. After that, you go back into your events, do wait one second, just keep it like one second, and stop all. So uh, now that we're done, uh, for a quick for a quick rewind, uh, these two these two pieces of code are for moving your ship around. This first half of, the, of uh, this code is to set the health and score when you start the game, and the other half is the position of your ship right so this whole big block is basically how the game is supposed to start out and this block right here is how the spaceship is uh, what happens when the spaceship collides with the bat and so we are done for the rocket ship part and now we will be moving on to coding the ball So starting us off again, um, where, where, where we left off with the ball, um, I guess that we should just get straight into the action. So um, you have to go into events and, and drag the when green flag is clicked at command, uh, put it right out here, go into looks, you hide it, and then you set size to 50%. After that, you go into motion, go to the go to X, and this time we're going to put actual coordinates in there, but they're nothing new. Same thing, 0 and negative 150. So uh, we're done with this first part. After that, you want to go back into events, go into the when key is pressed. Now uh, you just keep it at space. And you want to go into control and create a clone of myself. And after that, you want to go into sound and play sound. Uh, is it play sound or start sound? Um, I think it's start sound. Uh, you don't want that boing noise, you want that pop like this. Like that. So we're done with this uh, small second part. After that, we need to go into control again. And go to when I start as a clone. Then we get this piece of code, the go to X, whatnot. Uh, we replace uh, one of these with um, our variable ship x position and negative negative 150 
After that, we go into looks, and we go into show, put that under there, go back into control, do forever. Change X by 10. Am I missing anything? No, I'm not. So you keep um, the change X by 10, and then you go into your operators, and you pick out uh, the greater than, and, no, oh, wait, I'm sorry. You go into your control, and do if then, to operators again, choose greater than. After that, you want to go back into motion and choose Y position. Put that in there. And change this to 140. After that, you go back oh, into control and delete this clone. Next, uh, for our last part, um, I'm going to go back into events and go back into when I receive it's ball collision no, uh, not ship collision ball collision when I receive ball collision I have to go into control and delete this clip Right, so, um, this is about, oh, wait. Oh, man. Alright, so, I made a minor mess up. So, it's not change, it's not change X by 10, it's change Y by 10. So, I'm very sorry for that. But, other than that, uh, this is correct. So, this, uh, first part right here is, um, how we start. That's how the ball should be in its coordinates when it starts, when the game starts. This one is when, this one is um, basically when you press space. And when you, when you press space, you create a clone that starts the pop sound. And this one is uh, the commands for the clone. Basically, you have to go, basically this whole command is telling the ball to go, is basically telling the ball to, um, fly directly up and this one is like when it hits the bat it uh, has to delete itself Ooh, that's loud. Uh, you can see they're able to duplicate it's a loud sound no, let's mess around with this for a bit Ooh, that's not pleasant but uh, yeah enough of that so this is the uh, ball part next we have the bat and this game over part um, uh, We'll be doing the bat next So uh, I think that about ends it for the ball And we'll be doing the bat next So to start us where we left off um, Do you have to Go to events and get the when green flag is clicked. Um, drag that there and set the bat spawn to left. Uh, create the variable bat spawn and for the zero replace it with the left. And then go into looks, go hide, put in hide in there, and then you want it to set size to 50%. Not 40, my bad. 50%. After that, you go into motion, you get the go to X. After that, you set that to zero, and you keep the Y at 150, or you set the Y to 150. After that, you go into control, you wait one second, then you change that one second into three seconds. After that, you forever, yeah, forever, oops. You have forever, and then you have if else to fit inside of that. And so, what you're gonna do, and you have to pay close attention on this, is that you're gonna choose this less than and this pick random. Put the pick random and the less than that's empty, and then you put 
the whole thing in here to create the pick random uh, blank to blank that's less than 50. Alright, so uh, first thing what you want to do is that you want to, oh, yeah, you want to keep that one at one, make the 10 into 1000, turn the 50 into 100. And if it didn't get any more complicated, oops, sorry. My bad. Uh, you're just supposed to do if then, then you put this in there, and then you do if then else, put that in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that part, but this is really huge, so I'm probably going to be forgetting a few things. Uh, next, you want to get the equal to, and set this to left, left, and you want the variable to be bat spawn, put that in there. And just do that. Next, you want to set the bat spawn on both ends of the spectrum. And for the bottom, you put left on the top, put in right. After that, you go back into control, you create a clone. Just put it right there, if I'm correct. And then you put the wait two seconds in it. So we have this first section done. This is how uh, the bat's supposed to start out. This whole piece of code. Uh, next, um, you uh, you get when I start as a clone and control. You do if else, if then else, and you want to do the same thing where that's the equal sign. And you have the variable bat spawn in there. You put this to left. You did the same thing. Put it right in there. Go into motion. Drag two of these out. And yeah, drag two of these out. And after that, you're gonna just go to your operators again and just choose the pick random. Put them in the first section of the go to X. After that, yeah, you're just gonna set all of these to 150. No changes. But over here, it's a bit different because on the first one, you're gonna set it to negative um, 220. Second one, 220, just positive, and you're gonna set both of them to zero. As you can see here, I don't know if I, I probably didn't do a good job of explaining that. Next, you're gonna go into show. Then you're gonna go back into control, do forever. <laughs> then you're gonna change it by what? Then you're gonna change y by 10, not uh, negative 10. Negative 10. Oh, I guess that's just gonna look better. Okay, I'm gonna change y by negative 10. And then. Go back into control, and you do, and you put it in. Let's see if my memory is You put it in, inside there, and then um, you go into operator. Is it an operator? Where's this command? Is it in setting? There's a little diamond on it. Touch him. Oh, here it is. All right, so yeah, uh, you. So this one is unique. It has an. It's from sensing, and it's the first one up here in sensing, and it'll be touching mouse pointer. But this time you're gonna be. You wanna make it touching ball. And after that, you want to change, 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 change score by one. Next, you want to start the sound. Put that under there with it. Oh, shoot. didn't mean to do that. Back into the code. 
Hold up. Uh, so, I'm uh, sorry about that. So, resuming with the sound. Um, hold up. Put that back. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> resuming with the sound. Um, start sound. Put that under there. And you're going to be choosing a sound, and it's going to be in the effects. And now, let's choose the festival. We haven't done the rest of the code yet, so it's not gonna make that noise. <laughs> That's a bit difficult. Wait, well, actually, will it? Let's check that out. Oh, I'm sorry about this. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so we know that I missed the sound now. So, um, after that, after that sound, uh, you wanna go into, not broadcast, you wanna go into broadcast, I mean, into events, and do broadcast ball collision right underneath it, too. And you're gonna go into control and delete the clone. Alright, so now should be... Okay, so game's trying to work, that's for sure. Um, so uh, after that, we um, have a another layer of if. So we just have to put it right underneath there, and go back to sensing, and get this in there. And then it's gonna be the rocket ship. I'm sorry for the silence. And then after that, we're uh, going to be choosing a sound. Or another sound. And so, we'll go back into effects. And uh, we'll make it the bomb. Alright, so uh, after that we go back into sound. Start sound. There it is. Boink. No bonk. Uh, after that, we're gonna do broadcast uh, uh, events into broadcast ship collusion. collision. Collision, not collusion. What am I saying? After that, we're gonna go into variables and delete this clone. Then, on top of that, we have another if. After that, uh, we're gonna go into operators. Get the greater than, or no, no, less than, less than. We're gonna get the less than, and go into motion, get the Y position in there, and switch this up from 50 to negative 100. And we're gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna go into control, and delete this clone. So, <clears throat> sorry for, um, this lengthy bit of the video, but in short, this one, this part right here is how the bat should be whenever, uh, when the game starts, initially starts, when the green flag is clicked, and um, this whole section right here is uh, basically how the bat, how the bats interact with uh, the ball and the ship. And so, uh, after that, we should have one more sprite. So don't worry, we're almost over. But um, this time we're going to be doing this game over uh, sprite sign thing. <laughs> yeah. So this is the last part of this video. It's going to be a very short part since there really isn't that much. So uh, let's just get it over with very fast. So 
click the green flag when clicked, uh, looks, you hide it, and then you go back into events, when I receive, game over, go back into looks, you go into show, and you, and uh, well, you can play a sound, or you know, well, you can put down any sound you want, but I'm just going to leave it at the pop sound. Like that. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, um, I think that wraps up this whole, uh, video as of itself. And, uh, so this game is, this game's a pretty fun game. You're just playing it by yourself and you got time to waste. Trying to get that high score. But, yeah, it's, uh, very fun building this up. You know, and it's uh, very hard to come up with uh, to come up with these instructions too. So um, yeah, this wraps up the series, as I've been saying once more and again, I mean, the episode. So I guess that's where I will leave off. So <clears throat> so I want to enjoy the fruits of my labor now. So I'm going to be playing this game. For probably about like maybe five minutes but yeah um while going back through the footage i did realize that i made the mistake of um the ship and uh, the collision and the ship collision section you're supposed to change health by negative one not by one <laughs> i was wondering for three minutes why my health kept on going up and up and up not down and down and down every time i got hit but uh yeah let's play See how I'm moving left to right? Now I can uh, shoot out the balls. Yep, see? So that's just uh, basically how your game should work. Uh oh. Alright, I'm not doing so hot in this game. I mean, but you guys always have to remember that you can always make these games your own and put in your own little quirky variations. Right? Like, you can make the movement 20 or 30 if you really wanted to, just for fun. You know, you don't always have to follow strictly by our, by our book. And, uh, I guess I'm not gonna be looking up to that 5 minute promise. This is only gonna be the 2 minute 30 second one. But either way, this is just how the game should feel and play. Oh yeah, funny thing, if you hold the space bar, this happens. Yeah, very unpleasant sound. But yeah, I think uh, this wraps up the gameplay portion of it. And uh, once again, I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, visit us at our place, One of Coder, and also visit our website too. And that's all I have for now. <laughs>